Segway 9Bot Z10 electric unicycle. The 9Bot Z10 is widely seen as the best electric unicycle on the market, and it is the perfect commuting companion if you like to get around in style. The 18-inch all-terrain wheel will see you shredding through the city one minute and off the beaten track the next. This is a go-anywhere machine built for those with an adventurous spirit. With a curb weight of 53 pounds, the Z10 is not exactly lightweight, but what it lacks in nimbleness, it more than makes up for in stability and speed. The ultra-powerful 1800-watt electric motor tops out at 45 kilometers per hour, and the huge 995-watt-hour battery will carry you up to 90 kilometers between charges. The spec list of the Z10 is the length of your arm, but it's not all about the numbers. It's the actual ride that sets this electric unicycle apart from the competition. Just one step onto the Z10 is enough to fill you with unparalleled confidence. It's obvious that the build quality of the Z10 is second to none, and the self-balancing capabilities are industry-leading. This is one tough piece of single-wheeled kit that will take on anything you can throw at it. While most electric unicycles are strictly city dwellers, Segway have well and truly broken the mold with the Z10, giving it as much off-road capability as on. Mud, water, rocks and steep climbs are no problem and are actually where the Z10 excels the most. All the exciting bits aside, the Segway 9Bot Z10 is also an incredibly safe mode of transport. The stopping distance when moving at full speed is just four meters, and there are several bright LEDs located around the machine to keep you visible, day or night. You can also download the 9Bot app, where you can calibrate the balance, set a maximum speed, and track your battery levels all from your smartphone. PAL 5 Flying Car. Once reserved for cartoons and sci-fi movies, flying cars are now very much a real thing. The PAL-5 flying car is one part three-wheeled car, one part helicopter, which sounds insanely cool, and in the flesh it's even more impressive. It definitely looks more car than aircraft, but its flying abilities are what makes this vehicle so special. The slender body houses a pair of seats up front, so there's enough room for yourself and a passenger. And in the rear is where the business lies in the form of two 50-horsepower motors. That might not sound like a lot, but weighing in at just over half a ton, the 100 horsepower total is enough to get this featherweight nipping around quite spiritedly. In flight, the PAL-5 has a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 500 kilometers. Not bad for something that has to be the best of both worlds. The company behind the PAL-5 describes it as a car that flies and a plane that drives, which pretty much hits the nail on the head. You're not going to break any land speed records in this little thing nor are you going to be flying through the air like a Red Bull stunt jet. But what you can do is drive to a runway, take off, fly, land, and drive to your destination all in the same vehicle. I should add that you will need a pilot's license to use the PAL-5 to its full potential, but flying lessons are included in the $400,000 price tag. Pre-orders are already being taken for the initial run of 90 vehicles, and the first set of keys is set to be handed over early 2021. Zapata Flyboard Air Hoverboards have always been one of those inventions that everybody wishes would just hurry up and happen. Sure, there's been the odd death trap prototype, but nothing that even remotely resembles a real product that you could go to the store and actually buy. Well, that is all changing with the Flyboard Air from Zapata. The Flyboard Air is the first ever jet-propelled hoverboard that legitimately stands a chance of making it to market. The newcomer to the Zapata lineup is labeled as the safest, easiest, lightest, most maneuverable personal aviation system ever created, and the multiple promotional videos are backing up these bold claims with confidence. The Zapata Flyboard Air is a hoverboard in all senses of the word, and is capable of flying at a top speed of 145 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 150 meters. The board is propelled by four independent jet engines, each boasting 250 horsepower which is a ton considering it only weighs a measly 20 kilograms. The fuel is carried in a backpack by the user, and at current capacity, it can only hold enough for six minutes of flight. However, the projected flight time on release date is said to be closer to 30 minutes or more. This hoverboard is, without a doubt, one of the coolest ways to get around, and it's surprisingly safe too. Zapata have included a triple fail-safe control system, one wireless, two wired, a powerful ECU computer that can self-stabilize should an engine fail, and a quick-releasing boot system, just in case the pilot needs to bail in an emergency situation. Having any problems arise is unlikely, but it's nice to know that they're covering all the bases should the worst happen. The suggested price for the Flyboard Air is set to be around $250,000, but I'm sure this will drop as soon as a few competitors enter the scene. Sea Breacher the Sea Breacher is a semi-submersible watercraft that's powered by a 260-horsepower supercharged marine engine, capable of skimming you across the surface at a blistering 100 kilometers per hour. 
Unlike conventional speedboats, the Sea Breacher offers controls similar to that of a fighter jet, allowing you to dive under the water, fly up above the surface, and even perform full 360-degree barrel rolls. There are three unique models to choose from, the shark, the killer whale, and the dolphin, each heavily inspired by their animal counterparts. There is also the option to have your Sea Breacher custom-made to any creature of your choosing, be it a merlin, hammerhead shark, or even a bald eagle. Although this lightning-fast water hybrid can go underwater, it is by no means a submarine, and it's not meant to be submerged for long periods of time. It's instead designed to be plunged briefly underwater to then be thrusted up and out of the surface into temporary flight. The extra strong glass fiber composite construction more than shows its worth here, allowing you to come crashing back down without the worry of losing a fin. The watertight cockpit is built to always self-correct itself, so if you find yourself upside down with a stalled engine, you can rest assured that it will float to the surface upright. The manufacturer says that with the combination of buoyancy and ample power, the Sea Breacher can cope with almost any water and weather conditions, although they do not recommend taking one out in a hurricane, unless you've spent plenty of time learning how to handle the machine properly. Depending on the spec, a brand new Sea Breacher will set you back around $100,000 which is a lot of money for a toy, but nevertheless, it's a toy that is guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Lazaruth Flying Motorcycle Lazaruth is a French custom automaker that has a long history of building exotic machines and crazy one-offs. However, this flying motorcycle might just be their craziest yet. The LMV496 motorcycle is styled very much like its grounded cousin, the LM847. But instead of being a four-wheeled tilting motorcycle that's built around a 470-horsepower Maserati engine, the LMV496 is an all-electric affair, with the addition of four jet turbines, that is. Being the first of its kind means that there's not much to compare this flying motorcycle to, but I'm not counting that as a bad thing. Going from motorcycle to jet-powered quadcopter takes little more than a flick of a switch. The wheels go from earthbound to horizontal, all thanks to some hydraulic lifts, and in just 60 seconds you're ready to take to the skies. The four JetCat jet engines give the bike 529 pounds of thrust, which is equivalent to around 1300 horsepower, so you have plenty of power at your disposal to really thrash this thing around. To keep the weight low, Lazarus has only fitted a tiny fuel tank, so flight time, for now, is limited to around 10 minutes. But this is sure to be extended by the time that they fully release the bike. The controls are transferred from the handlebars to a pair of independent joysticks when you go into flight mode, and the dash only displays the most essential information, such as speed and altitude, to keep things simple. It's still early days for Lazarus' flying motorcycle, but prototyping is coming to a close, and testing is in full swing. The sale price for the original five being made is said to be around $560,000, which is a price tag that's to be expected for such a pioneering and exclusive piece of engineering. Back, 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 back.